Yeah, well, I mean, when I met you, Jasmine Johnson, I was so impressed by your attitude. I mean, you just, you know, relentlessly, without being like, you know, Pollyanna or fakie about it, but just really focused on what you want, focused on the positive um, and just on your own strength. And that really impressed me. I mean, especially right now, this is a time when so many people are dealing with hardship and it's so easy to get caught up in self-pity or you know just depression as you point out and you have been really strong about fighting that yeah for sure um i definitely didn't want to um i didn't want to get caught up like you said in in any any form of self-pity i didn't want to look at myself and see myself as a victim um and so i shifted my thinking immediately and you know, I realized that um, I don't, I, not only do I not have to just, oh, you know, I'm not a victim, but no, I am a survivor. I really am a survivor. I really did survive a vicious attack. You know what I mean? And I really did not deserve it, you know, and I still, and I still, um, you know, I was able to, like I said, to keep my peace. And so I just kind of, had some forward thinking and you know how do I want to be remembered and how do I how do I want to how do I want you know the people who love me how do I want them to feel about you know I don't I don't want them to um to be worrying all night and all morning and you know how's jazz and no I want them to know that I'm good I want them to know that you know, I'm going to be okay. And this is trying and this is very challenging. And, um, and it was extremely undeserving, but, um, you know, I'd rather be remembered as, um, and, and reminded, um, of a strong person, um, you know, than a person who, who fell victim to an unfortunate circumstance. While that is true, um, I still have so much control over how, you know, how this plays out in my life. And so I, I chose to take, to take the control, um, and to use this situation to, to continue to be me, you know, and, and to be the best version of myself. Hmm. Powerful words. So, um, a couple things I want to ask you. So, sure. first of all, this is expensive, right? Um, anytime we have to have a lot of hospitalizations and physical therapy and such, this is, you know, this is one of the reasons yeah. why I'm a big proponent of Medicare for all. This is why, you know, people don't realize, you know, the impact of, of uh, health care on, yeah. on family finances. So you do have a GoFundMe, right? I do have a GoFundMe, yeah. How do we find it if we want to help fund you? Um, let's see. So, the name of my GoFundMe uh, is Mass Shooting Survivor Will Walk Again by Jasmine Johnson. And I think you should be able to find it that way. Yeah, we'll um, find it. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll <laughs> post it at kjlhradio.com. By that title, <laughs> you're determined to walk again. Yeah, that's really that's really my determination. Is that um, you know through physical therapy and you know the the power of God, you know that um, I'm going to be able to get back on my feet um, when when that time when that time comes, and um, I'm not sure when that will be, and whether that is. <laughs> me starting out, you know, whether I I crawl first and if I'm able to walk on a walker first, and you know I'm able to walk with some assistance, you know, I'm I'm gonna keep going until, you know, I can I can push myself um, as far as I can physically, and so, you know, whenever whenever the time comes and when the time is right, um, I know that. Um, it'll be because of the attitude that I kept and um, staying in physical therapy. Um, it'll be because of those decisions that I made that 
that will have led me to success. Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, you know, you're um, you're a tough lady, and I, you know, I admire that. I mean, I think, you know, most of Thank us have, have never been tested to that level to see, can I stay focused? You talk about staying focused on what you want, you know, and can mm-hmm. I stay positive? Um, you know, you have really accomplished a lot in both of those areas of staying positive staying focused on what you want staying determined even in the face of the most incredible adversity mm-hmm. right two things um i i you know i wasn't expecting us to talk this long but i'm glad we did because i think it's been really um informative for everybody and i really appreciate you you know just sharing your story do um. you are you do you find yourself being fearful like when you you know you when you read about other mass shootings um uh, mm-hmm. what, you know when you when you think of what's happening in the news or does uh, is your perspective changed by being attacked uh at random by a gunman yeah um absolutely and um yeah absolutely i mean not even just, I mean, hear, hearing about these things on the news, I know that there were two officers uh, shot like, just the other day. And, um, man, that just kind of, it, it, is, it is unfortunate to be able to realize that kind of fear and to be attacked out of nowhere is just, um, is the scariest thing that, that could ever happen. You know, and and once it does happen to you, yeah, you are definitely looking over your shoulder. You know, at times that you you never would have before. You know, I'm I'm out eating at restaurants, and I'm like, wow, you know, is this a place where where a shooting could happen? And I mean, unfortunately, the answer is, I guess any place is a place where. Uh, or something like this can happen. You hear about it on the news. This happens in schools. This happens in churches. This happens at Walmart. This happens. There's not a place really where this hasn't happened. Um, not a in lot the United places. States. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to go United to another. States, yeah, yeah, you'd have to go right, to another right. country. Yeah, which is crazy right. if you think about it. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's it's really yeah, it's crazy. So. Um, I'm definitely, um, you know, mindful of the fact that it could happen. And it's, I think once that fear is placed in you, um, once, once it's placed in you, it's like, you know, you can't, you can't, it can't be removed, I don't think. And I think that is a part of what PTSD is. I think that Mm. once you have it in you, um, it can't be taken out because now you know it. You know, you know this fear, um, whereas you didn't, you may have not known it before and, you know, certain things may not have bothered you, but um, afterwards, and, you know, moving forward is normal as you want to feel and as normal you want to make yourself, you know, uncomfortable as you want to be in situations. And I think that there's always going to be that roaming um you know, that roaming thought that um, this is, you know, this is a place where something, you know, in, any place is a place um, in America. Any place is a place where a shooting could take place, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Is there a side of, is there a side of also hope or, or, um, a different way of looking at others. I mean, you did have a person that you didn't know well come out and bring you into safety. Is that also a factor in how you look at life or, um, you know, how you perceive the world after this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And I'm so glad you asked that because um, that night on October 29th, that was the hardest night and um you know there were hard nights after that but the amount of love and the amount of support and the words of encouragement that i received from 
friends and from family and even from strangers um, is so is so hard to ignore, you know. Um, and I don't and 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 I think that's a, and that's a that's a big part of why I've been able to have a in my in my mind a successful recovery is just because. Um, there's just been so much positivity from other people. I've been embraced. I was immediately embraced by um, some people within the spinal cord injury community, some nonprofits, um, and even friends of friends who are living with this injury. Um, the door was wide open. The door was wide open for me. Um, and there were so many directions that I could go. And there were so many places that I could go where I felt safe. Um, after this injury where people really opened their arms and they opened up their hearts to me. Um, I have visitors in the hospital every single day in the hospital. There was not a day that I did not have a visitor. Um, there was not a night that I had to sleep alone in the hospital. And so there were so many people who were so good to me. Um, and starting with Alex, um, starting with Alex coming back and coming back for me. Um, yeah, I mean, there were so many people who were just so kind to me and who have continued to be kind to me um, and who have, like I said, encouraged me and have reached out to me and have donated to my fundraiser. Um, and so there's a lot of love out there and it's impossible for me to ignore that. Well, Jasmine Johnson, thank you so much for sharing your story with us this morning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. GoFundMe.com, uh, uh, mass shooting survivor will walk again. Please keep us updated. Keep us in your loop. If you do any fundraisers or events or, uh, you know, just you want to give us an update, definitely reach out. I would love to be part of your success. Oh, for sure. And thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a great conversation. I'm really glad that I did this. Excellent. All right, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about the ballot when we get back. We're gonna start our journey towards understanding what the heck we're voting on locally. Uh, we know what's on the national ticket. Of course, we like to talk about that too. But today, time to get a peek at your L.A. County a ballot. That's straight ahead. It's Radio Free one hundred two point three KJLH.